Now, we often talk about the issue of U.S. double standards here in this program, whether it's support for protesters in other countries amid violent crackdowns here at home or demands for transparency by foreign governments while our own is increasingly cloaked in secrecy. And now this, the White House praising aggressive journalism abroad while escalating its war against truth-tellers here at home. Now, it all came to light this afternoon in an awkward but rather telling exchange in the White House briefing room. The spokesman, Jay Carney, began the presser by praising the aggressive reporting of three Western journalists who tragically died in Syria this month. Similar statements were made by the vice president as well as the State Department. But here's Jay Carney earlier today. It's a reminder of the incredible risks that journalists take. Uh, Marie Colvin, Anthony Shadid, and the French photojournalist uh, who was killed yesterday as well, uh, in order to bring uh, the truth about what's happening in a country like Syria. And he's right. Their deaths are undeniably tragic, as is the bloodshed and the deaths of countless innocent civilians all across Syria. But in light of this administration's widening crackdown against whistleblowers right here at home, those words, frankly, ring a little bit hollow. And apparently I wasn't the only one with that impression. ABC's Jake Tapper decided to call the administration out on its double standards. Check out this exchange. How does that square with the fact that this administration has been so aggressively trying to stop aggressive journalism in the United <laughs> States by using the Espionage Act to, to, to take whistleblowers to court? You're there just seems to be a disconnect here. You want aggressive journalism abroad, you just don't want it in the United States. Well, I, I, I would hesitate to speak to any particular case uh, for obvious reasons, and I would refer you to the Department of Justice. For there are issues here that involve uh, highly sensitive classified information, and I think that, um, you know, those are divulging or the divul uh, divulging that kind of information is a serious issue and, and always has been. So the truth should come out abroad, it shouldn't come out here. Well, that, that's not at all what I'm saying, Jake. Except that's exactly what he said. The problem here is that the war on whistleblowing isn't just about whether classified information is released. The White House does talk a big game about press freedom abroad, while back home it indicts whistleblowers and subpoenas to journalists who report their story. Now, Carney may have denied this being the case, but it doesn't make it any less true. And we often call attention to mainstream media failures here on this program, but in this case, I want to give credit where it's due. Jake Tapper did what all members of the press should be doing on a daily basis, challenging power, questioning authority. An abridged free press compromises one of America's greatest strengths, and I only hope that other journalists follow suit and start doing their job.